being out of the stage. And then you look down and there's girls with their phones out like, oh my God, and there's a dude sitting there like, dudes hate me for some reason. For some reason. Hey guys, Wheat Waffles is back on YouTube. It makes sense for him to keep making content. He had a pretty successful run and now that his face has already been leaked, why not go all in? However, in my opinion, the way he presents himself is a little weird. The thing about social media is that over the years, everything has been optimized. Every Twitch streamer with 200 subs knows how to use lighting and camera angles to portray himself in the best possible way. However, Wheat isn't doing that in my opinion. He once let his hair grow out a little more and every single comment under the video told him how much better he looked. But instead of keeping the hairstyle, he went back to his military cut. Also, he is putting so much effort into filming just to show off his worst features. You can see several cameras directed at him so we can be sure that he put effort into the video, yet the results are underwhelming. Mindestens 37 Mal. Mir geht's gut. Danke. Aber weh, dem unterhält sich mit Jungs über Kinder. Die haben eine richtige Pinterest vor. Diese richtige You never know the silent battles people are fighting. Even it's almost like he has no natural sense for aesthetics, which would also explain why he became obsessed with measuring faces in the first place. Anyhow, rather you see the appeal of someone or you don't, in the end the evidence will show who is a Chad and who isn't. Let's take this singer for an example. When he died recently girls went crazy. Look at this. You know a lot of people live. You and he got a now many say that that's because of status, but why do you think guys like him, Bieber or Vinny Hacker, got famous in the first place? It's because girls were hyping them up. I think we all struggle when it comes to understanding why some things are appealing to others that aren't appealing to ourselves. For example, some guys are into feet pics. When I was younger, I thought this was a joke because I couldn't understand what is attractive about feet, but it's a real thing and those guys have their own lore. For example, when a girl is wearing dirty socks, that's like better for some reason. I am sure most OF girls making such pictures have no idea why anybody would pay then for it, but they accept that some guys are into it. Like we need to accept that most girls think Justin Bieber was hot. Even on YouTube, there are many things I just don't understand. Why are people watching fat men eating like pigs? Is that some form of comedy or what's the appeal? If someone has an explanation, please write it in the comments. But let's go back to eat waffles. In my opinion, his seating position makes him look fatter than he actually is, and the jeans without shoes make his legs look tiny. In terms of content, I am also critical. He mentioned several incidents in which his looks helped him to outcompete or overshine other guys. It just made me laugh when she said the butt ginger, because I knew in her mind she viewed it as a negative, but I was still above average enough to compensate. Is he really good looking enough to attract a girl solely by his looks, or is he just making this up to appeal to his looks focused audience? In my opinion, he is a 5 out of 10. He might get a girlfriend if he is lucky, but I can't imagine a girl being all over him solely because of his looks. I mean there are so many better looking guys walking around that she can get.